Hello, Chris from ePianos here, another video for you from The Shed. If you've ever felt like making your own TV or movie style soundtrack, but you're not quite sure where to start, then this keyboard here might provide an answer for you. Because it not only makes it very easy to do, but the quality of the sound is something else. And you really only need minimal inputs to produce a professional quality TV movie style soundtrack. If you'd like more videos like this, then do me a favor, drop below this video and press that thumbs up icon and subscribe as well. It really helps us out. And also make sure you check out our other videos here on YouTube and check out the ePianos website for the latest deals on new and used digital pianos and keyboards. Now I want to emphasize that you really do not need to be a masterful keyboard player to produce a high quality sound on this keyboard. In fact, to demonstrate this, I'm only gonna use, or I'm never gonna use more than three digits during this performance. I'm gonna use the system in here that automatically completes a lot of the music for me, but still allows me to be the creative driver of it. And I'm just gonna play and make up my own movie style soundtrack as I go. So let me tell you how I did that and how I put it together on this keyboard. I loaded up a special type of pre-programmed backing called a free play style. And the way that this works is, um, as I said before, it completes a lot of the music for me, but still allows me to control what's going on. They only require absolute minimal input, as you saw from only using three digits. And the music and the keyboard, rather than me trying to keep up with it, it's following me, it's letting me lead it, and it's filling in the gaps and just letting me be in, and just letting me be in control of the orchestra. Now I selected one called Movie Horns, which does emphasize a little bit the brass, uh, cornets, trumpets, things like that, but there are variations on that that I could use. There's one called Ethereal Voices, which is a little bit more uh, choral. It brings in some of those choirs uh, if you like that sort of thing. Have a listen to that.
and there's one called On Broadway, which is, as you might expect, a little bit more like a musical one, Andrew Lloyd Webber style, for example. And there's Ethereal Movie, which is similar to the one that I played, but brings in a little bit more of the orchestral side. Now I must point out how impressed I've been with the quality of the voices that make up these pre-programmed sounds. In particular, the strings, which are not just ordinary strings. Yamaha have actually sampled the Seattle Symphony Orchestra. Have a listen. And the choir is another one. It's not just the synthesized choir. It's actually a real boys and men's choir that Yamaha have sampled in the chapel where they sing to capture the natural ambience of the setting. Have a listen to that. So overall, there's a really wide choice of automatic backing accompaniments on here uh, and voices as well. Now, I've only used the presets for when you've seen me playing in this video. And I wanted to do that to show how easy it is for to take this keyboard out of the box and start playing immediately. But I've only scratched the surface because I can tweak things as well. I can um, change out the strings for a different type of strings or a choir or a different type of orchestra to give it my own unique character and the feel for what it is I'm creating. You can really get into the nitty gritty, but for the sake of keeping it simple, um, you can load up a preset, press the screen a couple of times and be away and be playing and be creating. So as you can see, for creating uh, really awesome TV style and movie style soundtracks, this keyboard is very, very good and it's loads of fun as well. Now for saving your recordings, it's very, very easily done. You save it to a USB memory stick uh, or indeed the onboard memory and then transfer it to a computer or elsewhere uh, via a USB stick. As for saving your settings, you've probably seen me working my way through these buttons here. These are the quick recall buttons called registration memories where I save my settings. And if, you're, if you've got a SX900 at home uh, and, you, and you'd like my settings, then I'd happily email them to you. Just send me a message uh, in the email address below and I'll email them through to you for free and share them with you. Once you put it into your keyboard, it will set it up exactly as I've got it configured in this video. And I'd be very happy to share that with you keyboard players at home. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, just a reminder, if it was helpful to you, if you enjoyed it, just drop below this video and press that thumbs up icon and press subscribe. It really helps us out. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.